Come girls. Come by me. Hey Phoenix, how you doing girl? girl. So today I got Phoenix here with me. I have Maple. So Vanessa, come on up. Come girl. Come by me. Come by me, girls. Come. Come. Girl, Phoenix. Come show Vanessa. Come. Good girl. How's my beauty queen? Huh? How's my girl? Oh my goodness. Come here. Come see her. This is Silver Nessa. So, all three of these are daughters of Jaegers. So, I got their older sister, Phoenix, out with these two girls today doing some off leash work. We're doing some skill building out here. Now, they'll probably just want to stay in the shade, which is fine. And uh, I can just turn the camera on them. It's. Uh, 30th of June, we're up in the mountains in British Columbia. It's an absolutely glorious day. Maybe if I go over there, they'll come there. How's my two girls, huh? How's my girls? Come by me on this rock. girls here, they're daughters of Jaeger and Silvernova, the beautiful Silvernova. So that's the reason for the Silver Nessa. These are some gorgeous dogs. <laughs> All three of these are just stunning females. So we're having a really good day. It's uh, We're staying in the shade on the uh, east sides of the hills. everybody focused and we can go by but today for whatever reason with the wind blowing this way there's something on the ridge below so everybody's got to check it out and silver nasa gets going downhill and gravity just takes over <laughs> she finally gets wrapped up in a tree like that and uh, stopped her so I had to call her up because I wasn't going to get her. And sure enough, she torqued her way up, boy. She powerhouse, a good girl. And she wasn't staying down there. Come on, uh, Phoenix, you bring them girls here. Phoenix, Phoenix, you come by me and they'll come. Phoenix, come. All right, good girl. Now, Phoenix, should be bred. I won't know till I do an ultrasound, but I do believe she could be bred and potentially has caught. I won't know for a fact, but just by her behavior, I might say she did. She was bred to pretty boy leaf. So those will be some magnificent pups coming. Now she's not bred that long, but I'll uh, get her checked out here soon and uh, just to verify, I'll do an ultrasound. Phoenix, I was sure caught last time, but she uh, she didn't. So she fooled us all. I thought for sure she would. Come, girls, come by me here. Maple, Silver Nessa, come on up here. And so I brought her up today. She's a good trainer. She likes to train, she thinks like the girls, they get along good, and uh, she needs a bit of a stretch out anyway, so it's good. And 
uh, she likes to do some training. Her, uh, she, a lot of it, a lot of the work is left to Mon and Tora and Tecla, but uh, Phoenix is a very good trainer. And not not all not all my dogs are good trainers, but Phoenix is. She's really good. You know, outstanding female. There's my girls. There's my two girls. There's my girls. There's my girls. Now these are magnificent young females. I'm keeping Silver Nessa and Maple's going up to Alaska. Um, they're the top end of the dog world in cow counts. They're the upper, upper league for those girls. Wow. They're uh, quite unbelievable. Silver Nova did a really, really good job. Come, Silver Nessa, you come by me here. Now, at this age, I couldn't have hiked with Silver Nova, the mother, this easy. This is uh, much easier when the instincts are put in by Jaeger. Much easier. So the instincts are rich in these dogs. They're, they're like any other pup I have. So it's quite profound. I mean, you, you would think this was... Jaeger Amon. This is such a good dog. She's such a beauty. Very, very good dog to hike with. Now this trait you see comes out of that Jaeger line. Silver Nova has that. It, we drew it out. Silver Nova is very personable. But her instincts were a little, uh, not quite on the surface. But her pups, they're you know, right there. And I knew that. I knew Jaeger would do that. I knew Mon would do it. I knew all of our stud dogs would do that. And uh, so I can hike with these guys in remote terrain all day long, just with no issues whatsoever. And uh, beautiful females, just all of them really good. They Phoenix. Phoenix is a world-class dog. She's very, very good. She's uh, one of our very best dogs, so I hope she has her litter this time. I didn't get down to the water on the ridge on the rim trail because we didn't get that far so I have to hike them to another zone but uh, I'm carrying my thermos today and I have a big cup on the end and I did carry water for them just in the event that uh, we got sidetracked or something but uh, in my thermos, I've got a special treat for myself. I, the cherries are out, so I took all the seeds out of the cherries and added a little kefir and yogurt and ice cream and blended it all and put a couple ice cubes in. So I'm going to have that in a bit. But I'll get them to the water hole or give them a, I'll just use my cup because I can just drink my drink. So yeah, good hiking dogs, these two. Now, the, the background of these two is uh, the parents are completely different. Silver Nova was our first female from the show line, the very best of the show line. She was the first female we brought in. Jaeger, of course, is our big old working boy. He's the son of Dakota and me. And he's a rock star. He's an old fella. It's all this rock. But uh, that was the first fancy show female that we had was Silver Nova. She's Phoenix's buddy. Silver Nova and Phoenix hang out together a lot. And uh, so we're very, very pleased that that bloodline that we selected worked. And uh, hats off to Lillian Gamble because she put together a very, very good program for show dogs. And she kept old world blood uh, as best she could. It's tough for them show breeders. They, uh, they have uh, shrinking gene pools and they don't import like I do. And so very, very good of her to, to do the work she did. And, exceptional that she put that dog into our program so that that old
bloodline can continue. That bloodline of Jaegers, that Mia bloodline, that's, uh, it's not, uh, no one else has it. We're the only ones left with it. So very, very good now that we get to keep that. Plus, we can continue the Silver Nova blood too, which is pretty spectacular. And I was able to get a collection out of Swix, the fancy big fella from Sweden. And he's a, just a total rock star. And so I'll keep a vial for Silver Nessa. And I'll put Swix and Silver Nessa together. Now in 15 days, Karu, a Norwegian elk hound male from the very best bloodlines I could find in Finland is coming over. Satu's flying over with him and two Jamtuns. And so one of the litters, he's not much older than Silver Nessa. So when they're both two, I'll, uh, I'll uh, two and beyond, I'll use Karoo as well. And uh, it would be very spectacular. Now I can use certain of, uh, I, I, I could use Pretty Boy Leaf if I wanted to on that dog uh, as well. I have options because Pretty Boy Leaf is not related to her. And uh, potentially certain Pretty Boy Leaf sons I could use as well because they would not be related. So Vintner and Loki and those those types of uh, elk hounds I can use, or dogs I raised. So the, the variety of high-end quality that we've got for this female is pretty astounding. It's the very best in the world. And uh, I've got a nice video of Swix up on the website, and I've got lots of background on him. And Carew, of course, is magnificent. He's just a young fellow, but his parents are so outstanding but, but uh, these are these are all good females to work with nice females to work in the bush now phoenix is an exceptional dog in the bush she's very aware and she's fearless she's a she's a little bit uh she's quite intense actually if there's a threat she she right out there boy she's a very very good dog to hike and she goes out and and, and lets me know she'll She'll say, she'll tell me there's something there, and she won't just boom out there. She'll go out and let me know, and I can say, well, just hang on, let's check. But uh, she has no qualms about moving stuff out of my trail and letting me know it's there. Very, very good dog, fearless dog. A lot of Mia blood in her, the coastal Norway dog. And so very, very compact dog, very good for this terrain. Agile. She can go straight up some cliffs there. Wow. Got that black mask, really, really well-marked dog, beautiful dog. Maple took a lot of Jaeger too. Silver Nessa took a lot of Silver Nova. She looks just like Silver Nova, only I think she's nicer. <laughs> but eh, maybe nobody's nicer than Silver Nova. You gotta be good, girl, to beat your mama. You gotta be good to get better than your mama. Your mama's a short. Oh, what a beauty. But these girls are nice, boy. Very good dogs. And I'll tell you, the easiest thing about uh, when you go to train a pup, if you get a pup selected that models what you want to do, so if the dog is bred for what you want to do, it's really nice to train because the dog likes to do what it's bred to do. And so our dogs are bred for this type of stuff. And it's very nice for them to do it, very easy for them to train. And I, of course, have an advantage. I have a model dog, lots of model dogs. So the model dog does a great deal of my training, of course. But um, there are certain things that I have to control on the model dog as well to make sure these guys understand the commands and the so on. Now pups of course respond much faster to signs in the beginning. These guys now are starting to get their verbal. 
but uh, the verbal's not rock solid yet, but it's coming good. And by 16 weeks, their verbal is really good. But at 12, they're uh, more signed than verbal. So stop, they're pretty good on, but left and right, forget it. They're not there, but they can follow my sign. So if I point by me from over there, they'll come. So they're very good that way. Now, Maple will be here for 16 weeks, so I'll train her with uh, Silver Nessa a fair bit. Merle, I'm going to take him out to, uh, later tonight. I'm taking him with Mon and running him solo. He's a rock star. Wow. What a beautiful guy. Very, very sharp fella. So I'll put him and Mon together tonight, or I might use Tico. Tico wants to uh, train a bit too, and Merle likes Tico, so I may uh, I may just take Tico instead. And uh, Mon was just out, so he's fine. But Merle is staying for the training as well. John is coming up on the fifth to see Mer uh, Merle. And then Ben and Vaughn, I had them out this morning. Oh, we had fun. So Loki's uh, owner's parents came by, and we spent the whole morning with them pups. And I can remember, oh, gosh, we had a fun time. So they they just love those little guys. They're very, very good dogs, too. So we had a fun time. Now, this is the behavior that I try to instill in pups early on. So that when I stop on a hill to have my fancy blends, they'll hang out. <laughs> I don't have fancy blends up here too often. <laughs> Usually just play old water. From the creek. Oh, you're a good girl. You're such a good girl. She's going to a really great family up in Alaska. And I'm telling you, she is an amazing girl. I love this dog. Yeah, very tough for me to decide which one to keep, but I could have kept either one, of course, but I, uh, only for this, just for the contrast, I wanted uh, the, the silver one. Maple is uh, every bit as good a dog. It actually likes me better than all the pups. Uh, she really is a social dog. Should be really good with that family. Well, Phoenix, pretty good girl. You did a good job with these girls. Yeah, you did a good job. So I'm really excited for Phoenix. I hope she has a litter. And um, if she doesn't get bred this time to pretty boy Leaf, we won't try him again. There's maybe just something with him and her. She doesn't get bred with a second male. Well, okay, maybe uh, maybe she's not destined to have a litter. But uh, my guess is she'll probably catch. She's very content. So uh, the the fur, the coat, the coat gets so smooth and soft. They get content. They get personable. They get relaxed, and uh, you can tell little things. So I do believe she's bred. Those will be some of the very best dogs ever because that's got every good dog we got that's Jaeger and Camp and Dakota and Leaf and Mia and all oh, just some seriously good dogs well you guys good you guys are ready to hike that's a good video